everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel so as you guys obviously can tell by the thumbnail and the title of this video we're going to be recreating megan the stallion's crybaby look and she had several but i wanted to do the pigtail uh blue um outfit look so that's what i'm going to be doing today um i'm starting off on not freshly dried hair like i had on my wig for about three weeks and i just took the braids down um you can do this on freshly washed hair uh flat ironed hair permed hair whatever um and i'm pretty sure it will look better than how mine turned out but i think mine turned out still pretty good um if you wanted to stick with the natural hair vibe like i was or if you wanted to do more of a sleek look like she had um i think the aesthetic was the same so it wasn't really like a big deal to me uh this was a little bit difficult because my hair is kind of thick so it was just like you know pulling a, your hair into a ponytail is just like uh, annoying but um she had a zigzag parting in her hair, so that's what I decided to do with mine. Um, it's not 100% cute, but I had no back mirror, no person to help me, so this was the best I could do. And I didn't really show the entire part in this, which I totally forgot and I didn't realize till after I was already done. But um, yeah, it's just simple, like try to zigzag it as best you can. It's not really a big deal in my opinion. If you want it to be extremely, extremely, extremely perfect, then you can have somebody help you um, or you could just go to a stylist and be like, hey, I want this done and then they can get it done for you, I guess. But if you're just doing it by yourself, you just do what you can. You know what I mean? So I'm using uh, some a little bit of Eco Styler gel and uh, just to slick down my hair a little bit and get rid of those flyaways. And then I'm just going to be braiding my hair. Um, and then putting that into a little bun of its own. And I'm going to do this for both sides. All right, now that we're totally cute, <laughs> I'm going to be taking this Magic Effect Edge Tamer. I did learn about this from one of my coworkers at my last job. Her edges were always just like perfect. And I was like, girl, what are you using? And then she told me and that's what I got. So I'm just trying it out here. Um, it works well for me, but I did pair it with, um, I ended up pairing it with Edge, Ta uh, <laughs> edge Tamer, the Eco Style Edge Tamer and a little bit of gots to be in the yellow bottle. And then I did take out those little side pieces right there because that's what she had in her video. Um, but you don't have to, but just like do whatever you want. It's like um, an inspired look, not an exact look. So just, just do whatever makes you feel comfortable, okay? Alright, so uh, obviously I did one eye off camera. I did tie my hair down so um, that it could be setting while we're doing the makeup. But I had to do one eye off camera just because I'm not a makeup artist and I wasn't sure what I was trying to do. Um, obviously I was sure what I was trying to do. <laughs> but I wasn't sure how to execute it. So 
now that I have something going on, I'm just going to get started showing you guys the next eye. So what I'm doing is putting down a base, which I'm just using concealer. Uh, I don't have any eyeshadow base per se. Um, I have one, but it's tinted and it's like pinkish and I wasn't trying to do that. So I'm just using regular eyeshadow, I mean a concealer, and then I set it with my setting powder. And then I'm taking that blue that you saw from the Juvia's Place palette, and then I'm just putting that all over my lid, trying to shape it in the same like kind of winged look that she had, and then I'm just going to be blending. So I'm uh, patting the color on, blending out the edges, patting the color on, blending out the edges, and then just repeating those steps until I'm satisfied with the color that I'm getting. Now I'm taking this um, Revolution palette that I got from um, Ulta. It was very cheap um, and this glitter pigment from NYX and I'm just patting that a little bit on the lid before I go in with the second color just because I felt like I wasn't getting enough of the pigment payoff. Um, so I'm also using another NYX palette. Um, this one is like five shades and I'm just using the blue shade from that palette. Also you can find it at Ulta, very cheap. Um, I was just not satisfied with the blues that I was getting. So if you have like better pigments or better shadows in your own little arsenal, then just feel free to use one or two shades instead of like three shades like I used. Um, it's really, like I said, it's not an exact science. It's just whatever you have. Um, it's just like the, the feels. That's what we're trying to go for is the feels. Now I'm taking a black shadow and I'm just trying to like create kind of like a fake liner look with that. And then I'm also putting a little bit on the top and then blending it out as well. Um, hopefully guys you can see better than I'm explaining what I'm doing like I said I'm not a makeup artist so I really can't like I feel like I can't give a great explanation of what I'm doing I just want you guys to watch and see Also, I wanted to mention that from what I saw in her video, she didn't really have on a lot of shimmer in her shadow. I think she had some in the inner corner, but like I said, you can just make it what you want. I thought it would be um, like more of a pop of color if I added the glitter shadow, which it was, and I'm glad I did. So you can choose to do this or not. Um, it's up to you. So now that the makeup base and everything is done, I still have a few more steps to do for that, but um, I'm just going to move on to the hair. So I'm taking this pre-stretched braiding hair. Um, you can find it at your local beauty supply store. And I'm taking um, two of the three packs that come with the hair. And then I'm just uh, making it a little bit uneven so that it's longer because her ponytails were like stupid long. But we love that. So um, in order to get that same effect, you just want to make the hair um, a bit uneven so that way you get that same long effect and then you want to just wrap that around your little bun if your hair is thicker than mine then you might have a little bit more difficulty than i did or if your hair is thinner then you should be fine so after you've secured the hair with the hair tie to your bun you just want to take a section of the hair and just wrap it around like i'm doing here to secure the hair um even further onto your base and then I'm just going to take a bobby pin and bobby pin that little part um, to the hair and you can use hairspray for this but like I said this was like a really quick and simplified way of doing her hairstyle in my opinion um, there's definitely other ways that you can do it but this is just the way that I wanted to go for with doing this hairstyle
Now that the ponytails are finally finished, I'm just going to be taking the uh, main accessories for this hairstyle, which are the um, little bowls, um, bowls, <laughs> the bobos, um, that's what I call them. And I got these from my local beauty supply and these were $1, so very cheap. And hers were bigger, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. So I'm taking those and just putting them onto my hair and this is the final look. All right, everybody, so this is the finished look. What do y'all think? Like, I, I feel like it's just spot on, you know what I mean? Like, re regardless of like the um, minor differences, obviously this is uh, braiding hair and it's um, like yakky hair, basically. Um, not like silky, but hey, like it's literally the same thing, same difference, like if you wanna spend hundreds of dollars on like 50 inch silky bundles be my guest you know like you do you go ahead kill it or like obviously you can also get like beauty supply silky hair um they have ten dollar packs so like the 30 inch i don't know if they have longer than the 30 inch at the beauty supply for like ten dollars or twelve dollars or however much it is but i decided not to go with that one because i couldn't find it and two because um this was on my face and i was like well actually like i can make this longer to like mimic her like extra long ponytails because the 30 inch would have stopped to like right here i mean and that's a long ponytail but she has some long hair in her head so i wanted to be as accurate as possible she had the little the swing so i just had to get had to get my little swing going uh beauty supply beauty supply i was surprised i even found these i wish they had some bigger ones but these will do like I love this whole little look because I picked this one like I could have did any of the looks from her video almost like that long blonde would have been like really hard to do but regardless like I picked this one because of the blue theme like I love the shadow the bobos like I call them bobos I don't know what you guys call them they call like a million different things but yeah and then I was surprised I even found dangly pearl earrings like she had on some dangly pearl earrings and I was like oh I'm not gonna find that but I definitely found it obviously different but it's the aesthetic you know what I mean it's like it's like the whole vibe so I'm so happy to share this with you guys I hope you recreate your own like the the, the biggest fun part for me was just like making it different because I added like sparkle shadow like I it was really hard to see what she had on because the video like I, I rewatched it so many times and it, it wasn't like here let me press pause for you so you can see Megan's eyeshadow and I looked on her Instagram and she had a picture of this look but it was obviously like a full body so she could you know show the inches show the outfit and I just couldn't see her eyes close enough to like to see exactly what she did but like basically like literally it's just the blue just do something blue kill it and just put your own little spice to it that's that's the whole thing that i'm trying to say basically is to just make it your own do what you want to do basically like blue blue shirt different i don't got the long sleeve don't got the cut down don't got the little fur but it's okay it's literally okay and you can do this look with not even blue you can make it pink you can make it yellow you can make it orange you can make it purple you know whatever you want to do like uh, i'm just so in love like i can't believe it actually turned out like really cute like I, I thought i would look stupid and some people might think i do look stupid but that's okay because i like it i mean i wouldn't go out like this just because this is heavy like this braiding hair is pretty darn heavy and I'm not gonna do that to my scalp just not gonna do it maybe like i don't know if it was like for a night and i wasn't going like it was somewhere where i could sit and it, and it would be like a few hours maybe maybe i would wear this out but if it's just like an all-day thing no 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 okay <laughs> but do let me know what you guys think of this look in the comment section down below are you guys gonna try to recreate this look yourself if you do tag me and megan obviously on instagram so she can see it i want to see it too um i'll leave my instagram in the the description box below as well 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon so that you know when I post new videos. Um, I don't know if I want to make this like a regular thing on my channel. You guys let me know by liking this video if you really like these types of videos. Like I did a Normani recreation like last year or something and that was my like that's my most popular video on this channel so if you guys really want to see like celebrity recreation looks then just let me know by liking this video and i'll just keep going but yeah with that being said thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day i'll see you in the next one